So as I was heading home after work, getting ready to upload my latest reaction video because I did it this morning, I was going to upload it right after I got home from work, J.J. Abrams decided to grab me by the neck and say, Tony, listen to me, you're paying attention to only me today, only me, here's a Star Wars trailer, talk about it. And so I'm like, God damn it, I have to talk about the latest Star Wars trailer that just dropped mere hours ago. And so, as you know, in this style, it's going to be a reaction video, but I'm also going to review the trailer after seeing it. So enough talk. Let's watch Star Wars Episode 7, The Force Awakens, trailer 2. Lucas Films. <laughs> well, a Star Cruiser. The force is strong in my family. How'd that thing survive the fire? I have it. Luke, the hand. My sister has it. I'm guessing that's Leia. You have that power too. Dennis Quaid, you got sold. Alright, so uh, that was the latest Star Wars trailer. And I like it. I like it a lot. Um, I will be honest, I actually liked the first one a little bit better. I felt like it was a bit more atmospheric and there was a little less shown, so the mystery was still there. I mean, this trailer is still mysterious. I still have no idea what the story is. All I know is in this trailer, it sounds like it's Luke, Luke Skywalker, doing the voiceover this time around. And, I mean, it's heavily hinted. He talks about his father. You see the metal hand because Luke lost his hand at the end of Episode 6. He says his sister has it. The only person that has a sister that would have the Force is Luke's sister's Leia. Now, the question is, who is he talking to? Is he talking to the black guy that's a stormtrooper? Or is he talking to that girl played by, um, De De Daisy Rid Ridley? Or I, I forget what her name is, but the new girl. Um... A lot of people are speculating that the girl is actually Leia and Han's daughter, and I'm starting to think that's the case too. That has to be their daughter, and it might be Luke talking to her. So in this trailer, they show us a little bit more, more action. You see that lightsaber guy with the freaking kilts? Holy shit, I, I wish... I know it would be giving away too much, but it would have been nice to see like a little clash happen between him and you see a green lightsaber, you're like, holy shit, it's Luke, he's here, because you don't see Luke, you don't see Leia, you only see Han and Chewie, which is fine, I mean, come on, they have to at least show one old cast member, I think that was the one complaint about the first one, you didn't see any of the original cast in it at all, so this time they're like, well, okay, fine, we'll give you one, here's Han, here's Han Solo, you can see Han Solo, I know you all like him. What I'm very curious about is that new silver-looking uh, stormtrooper with the cape. He looks freaking badass. Is he like the general or something of all the stormtroopers? Is he going to be the main antagonist in the movie? Or I don't know. Because, you know, you have him. You got the guy with the red lightsaber with the kilts on it. And he looks menacing. Like, when he, when he looks at the... When he looks straight into the camera and goes, Oh! That was... That was pretty damn menacing. I liked it a lot. Um, the trailer does a really good job at not giving anything away. It's just you want to know a little bit more. My, 
Personally, my favorite shot in the entire thing is just that long landscape shot where you see that hover cart driving through the sand. You see the, you know, the battle star, or I don't know what it's called. I think it's a star cruiser. If I got it wrong, I'm sorry. Not a huge Star Wars fan. But you see, you see the rebel fighter in the ground too, and that giant star cruiser just crashed into the sand dome or sand dunes. That looked freaking awesome. So I can tell. Now this takes place many years after the last giant war and you know these are the remnants of that war and yeah, it's just a really interesting trailer it's not as atmospheric as the first one as I said but I like it you get to see more of um, the girl and the black stormtrooper which is really awesome you know John Boyega getting work man I'm, I'm so happy but I wanna where is Andy Serkis like I would have actually loved to see Andy Serkis in this um, trailer. You got to see Oscar Isaac as the guy piloting one of the rebel cruisers or the rebel fighters. And it's fine. It's nice to see them flying through. And that whole thing where they're going through like the spaceship and the guy with the silver um, armor is shooting at the Millennium Falcon. That was pretty awesome. But again, just little snippets. JJ really knows how to tease us very well. So but those are my thoughts about the trailer. And I would love to know what you guys thought about the trailer. Did you really like it? Did you enjoy it? Do you feel like you wish they showed more? Or do you think it's like terrible? Whatever. I, just, I don't like it. So comment below and let me know. And yes, I do have another reaction video for you today I didn't know this trailer was dropping so I'm sorry I'm gonna have to do two reaction videos today and I might actually do a real quick editorial piece because you know speaking of trailers there was a trailer that dropped last night that just got me so fucking pissed but enough of that that's uh, my reaction and until those videos come guys if you'd like to see more on the black critic guy channel and be a part of the black critic crew please Hit that subscribe button below, like this video if you really enjoyed it, and I'm Tony Wilder the Second, The Black Critic Guy. Till then, peace YouTube!